Today we're doing the Swift Celebrate 4 Caravan Setup Guide. We're going to run you through how to set the caravan up on site as if you were going to use it. If we start on the near side by the door, we've obviously got the main door, we've got an external 230 volt socket, we've got a storage locker that goes underneath of the bed, We've got an external barbecue point. There's a little attachment that you can get that goes onto your barbecue hose into here and then the yellow tap turns the gas on and off. In the front we've got the gas bottles, to, room for two. We've got the we've got the winder for the motor mover, the winder for the legs, and we've got a gas bottle set on. We've got the straps here to be able to secure your gas bottle into position. Fitted with a bulkhead regulator with the pigtail that's set up for butane gas. Now you do need to use a spanner on this one and again remember it's reverse thread to tighten that up. Once you've connected to your bottle, as I say that's reverse thread, we can then turn our gas on on the bottle. We have got a shut off valve on the fixed head bulkhead regulator that really is just for servicing so you should be turning the gas on and off straight on the bottle onto the towing electrics we're set up with a 13 pin electrics so just make sure your car is set up for 13 pin our handbrake to release the handbrake it's literally just push it down and to apply it it's just pull it straight back on we've got the alco aks stabilized hitch head which again, if you have a look in the description, we'll put a link to another video, how to hitch up. On the offside, we've got our Truma flu for our boiler. That works the heating and the hot water, and that's the gas vent. Water pump, when you come to collect the, water, the caravan, the water pump will be in the sink. This little blue button which pull back and this just pushes in and locks into position we've then got our electric locker so our 230 volt plugs in and our battery connects again roughly 110 amp battery leisure battery this will take just hidden behind our electric socket is the isolator switch for our motor mover so again this is how we turn the power on to the actual motor mover when we're using that. At the back we've got our waste water. So all of our waste water will come out of here from our sinks and shower. And we've got a locker that just goes straight underneath of the bed for storage. Then on the rear near side we've got our cassette toilet, our flush water goes into the top, little watering can and pink chemical. It's literally full when we can see the water come up to the top. Cassette toilet, this then little yellow handle lifts up, it pulls out. So to empty the cassette we fold out the funnel remove the cap and we've got a little air vent at the back so as we're emptying that we press the air vent in and that will just empty everything out as it should we've got the little flap to get into the bottom of the cassette if you're going to put blue chemical in the bottom that just goes into here again we must make sure that that's closed and that is in the forward to back position and that will slide in Again, if you come to remove this cassette and it's getting to about there and it's gone quite difficult, just make sure that the flap inside is fully closed, otherwise you're going to pull that out and do some damage. For winter and draining off your flush water, we've got the little empty tube. We remove the cap and that will empty out. Moving to the inside of the caravan, 
I'll just pop the awning light on so you can see that working. And we've then got our awning light. Moving inside of the caravan, we've got our swift leisure command panel above the door. Our water pump, our internal lighting, our dimmable above cupboard lighting, and then the top one is our awning light as we showed a second ago. Now again, before we put our water pump on, we want to make sure that all of our taps are in the closed position and that our drain bung on the water is in the closed position. This is our drain bung here, the yellow tab. In the horizontal flat position as we are here, this is to fill the system up. If we want to drain the system, if we're not going to use the caravan for a while or in the winter, we pop this into the upright position and that will then drain the water system down so we pop that into the upright position open all the taps and that will fully drain the system whether that be for winter or if you're not going to use the caravan for an amount of time while we're under the unit here we've got our main panel with all of our trip switches we've then got our main fuse switches fuses We've then got our main on and off button, so this will completely turn the power off inside of the caravan to all of the 12 volt system. Moving over, we've got our charger unit, so we can put our charger unit on and off. And then to work our heating and hot water, to put our 230 volt on, we must put this one on here. And that will illuminate orange as we have there. Once we've got everything into the position that we need we can then be sure that all of our taps are off our drain bungs down and we can put our water pump on we'll get a water level low when we first connect up and just the little arrow will clear that we can then pull the water through the system and it's literally just put our tap on again we need to make sure that we've got water connected outside and again when you first come to run the water through the system if the system has been drained we'll have to fill the onboard water tank up so to do that is just literally onto the hot side of the tap run it through at first you'll get quite a bit of coughing and spluttering but once we've got a full steady flow as we have now we know then you can see a little bit of air in the system there actually so when you first fill in the system up this is how you'll get it and then once we've got a steady flow of water as we've got now we know that that system is then full so once we've got our system full of water and we've done hot and cold we'll have to do the bathroom sink and the shower because it works on a pressure system we can then once we've got all the water through and all of the air out of the system we can then put our heating on and our hot water system so to run our main heating system we use the truma system above the door and to operate this if we give the main control dial in the middle a push and we'll light up with our internal vehicle setting if we press that again we can then put this on and this is then our temperature so we can go from literally five degrees so if we just wanted it to keep the frost out over the winter we can set it to about five and that will just keep the caravan a little bit warm through the winter or well, when we're using it we can come all the way up to i think we can go up to 30 degrees which is what we'll normally use for testing and we'll set it then to 21 which is going to be a roughly comfortable heat um, we can then move on to our water so to put our water heater on we then click it we're off at the moment so again 
we've got an eco setting which is like a low setting a hot setting and a boost so the boost will run for about 30 minutes just boosting that hot water up a little bit quicker if you come in and you've not got any hot water and you need to get some hot water quicker run it on the boost for normal settings you'd run it on hot and then if you're on a low ampage site we'd run that on eco so we've now set our internal temperature and we've got the gas symbol flashing above now that doesn't mean that we're running on gas that is literally just the indicator to say that our temperature for the inside heating is working and also the hot on our water heater is also running we can then toggle we can then toggle through the settings and we can now select what we actually want the power to be so we've got a gas bottle symbol and two power symbols and as we toggle through this we've got gas so if we wanted to run it on the gas we would select that one if we wanted a mix of gas and electric on a low setting so mix one and that will run it on gas and electric on a low setting mix two so again gas and electric but on a higher setting electric one so electric only on the lower setting electric two electric only on the higher setting so again if we go onto a site and we've got low power we can run that on electric one and if we go onto a site and we've got no problems with power we can just run that straight on electric two once we're running on the system now again we'll have our flashing so our gas symbol says our internal heating is now running our thermometer with the water symbol and on hot and we've got our power setting just at the top there also if we then come across we've then got the fan we've got an eco setting and a high setting so again eco is low high and we can then set that so our heating and our blown air will work in conjunction if we didn't have any heating on and we just wanted to run some blown air just cool around the caravan we can come along to our fan setting and just put the fan on without any other heating or any other settings on the other thing just to note on our control panel is the little plug symbol now if i turn the little orange light that's underneath the seat on the control panel if i turn that off so it's not illuminated you'll see that our little plug symbol goes off and we get a little warning light just to say that we've actually got no power connected on 230 volt connect that back in and we will get our plug symbol And then we can just reset the setting and again by pressing the back button if we want to run the system on gas what I'd say to do is get all of the gas through on the hob first because your fridge your heating is all going to work a lot quicker um, after we've bled the gas through on our hob we can physically see that we've got gas and again if you've connected up a new bottle it will take about 30 seconds just to purge the air through the system and then we can turn the settings to low and high and we can do that on all of the rings and again this is a good indicator just to let us know that we have got gas coming through the system and we've got no issues with the gas bottle or the regulator we've then got our grill which is the fourth setting along on the top row with a little picture here hold it in and we hit our igniter and again we've then got a high and a low setting our oven is exactly the same so the last one on the dial will turn it right up to the highest setting and hit the igniter and then we can set the temperature to where we want on that if we want to use our fridge again we've got a main P 
power button on the end that we just hold in we'll then get our lights come up and we will then have a little indicator under whichever that we've chosen so at the moment we've lit up on gas and our thermostat is set right up if we want to put that on electric the plug symbol we just press the the top arrows that'll come across to 230 again if we want to set change our thermostat channel our thermostat setting we just press the little thermostat if we want it on auto this will automatically select what we've connected up to and again battery is for the car which will get a little warning light now just to say that we're not actually connected to the car at the moment now again if you're wired up for 13 pin electrics um, you'll connect up to the car start the car and then put the fridge onto the battery and that will just run as we are on all the other settings then it will only keep cool it won't freeze down it is literally just running off the alternator on the car the battery setting on the car so uh, it will just act as a cool box we've then got all of our individual light switches which we've got around the caravan we've got little spotlights underneath the cabinets we've got lights above the units and you'll find switches either by the lights or an actual light switch on panels around the caravan for the bathroom light we've got two switches just at the side of the sink unit again all of our storage underneath of the bed so again we've got a good good amount of storage and spare wheel underneath the bed on this model our toilet again set toilet we need to make sure that the grey handle at the bottom is pushed to the back on this one and that must be fully closed and fully closed the trap before we try and remove the cassette if that isn't the cassette won't come out easily and you could end up causing damage if you force that to flush the toilet we've got the little blue button at the top and then we can just let everything go through microwave again we have got a little timer a quick start button which we'll just put it on for a minute our stop and we can then set our different timers powers weights and we've got different settings on our auto menu the microwave plate we do want to remove this for traveling so we'll remove this now for you and we'll pop this just underneath of a cushion if you travel with that in chances are it's going to come out and damage the worktop while you're traveling hopefully you've understood everything that we've gone through if there is anything that we haven't gone through or you've not fully understood just please let us know um, we can go back through that either on the phone or in the comments give us an email um, but hopefully we've we've explained it all and uh, we'll get you up and running next time you're on site